All right, first let's go to the main dot storyboard and we will design the detail view. The detail view with, uh, we have two things. First is a web view. Second is a progress bar to show the progress as the web view loads a um, loads the web page, okay? So we'll go with the object palette and drag out a normal view controller to the canvas. And there we go. And let's tra drag out on the web view. Before doing that, how about we will create a um, custom segue, okay? Like this, and it is a show segue. All right, and let's name this segue to be the identifier of show web view, okay? Like this. And then we'll drag out web view over there, and we'll make it something like this. All right, and then we'll apply auto layout on this guy. Next, we want to have a progress bar on the top of this, just right underneath this um this navigation bar, and let's search for a progress progress view and. We'll place it right underneath this guy and drag it way to the edge. Okay, and that looks good. The progress by default is 0 0.5, so let's change it into something like just 0 or 0 0.1. Okay, so it has a sense that it is loading. And all the calculations of the progress, I will show you about that later on. And then let's pin this guy to left and right. Cool, and also the height, like this. And let's see where it needs. We need the Y position. Now, what is the Y position? The Y position is exactly the vertical space, right? So we need the vertical space for this, um, this progress view. So I will control drag to the top layout guide and have a vertical spacing and we should be good to go. All right. But by default, this grab this um, the background of this guy is, I think it's black or uh, a little bit gray. What I want you to do is change this the background of this progress view to be white color, and that should be good. All right, next let's drag out, let's download the web view controller class right underneath you. Okay, there's a link right underneath this video, and I will drag it to the project like this and make sure that we copy items if needed and we'll copy it like that okay so i will assign this view controller the class of this view controller to be the web view controller and we're good to go all right so this web view controller it has several things in it first it has an input which is a publisher and that is the thing that later on you will pass in this publisher inside that, okay? And the second thing is has some properties, some IB outlets. So we will need to apply some IB outlets inside this, okay? I will right click into this and we'll see that we have a web view. So let's control drag to this. We have a progress view. So make it like that and we're good. And inside this web view, first it will hide the status bar. Second, it will ch change the title of the public of the view controller. It will change the delegates of the web view to be self and will load the web page. Okay. You if you like you can study the code in this class. Okay, it's very straightforward. All of these things, okay, all of these delegates methods and these calculations. What it does is it will show the progress of the web view, okay? And if you like to, you can use this uh, this web view controller anywhere that you want to show web page in your project. Cool. So next, let's go back into our view controller, uh, the collections publishers collection view controller, and we'll start uh, passing the data to this web view controller. 
I will drag it down right down below here and we'll have a mark it is called a UI collection view delegate the reason why we want to have this collection view delegate is that whenever the user tap on a cell tap on an item then we want to detect that tap so that is collection view that select item at index path It is right here and we'll override this guy so for this first we want to have a publisher right that's publisher and that is publishers dot publisher for item at index path and we'll pass in an index path okay and next we want to perform the show web view segue because it is a custom segue, right? Self dot perform segue with identifier. Okay. And how about we will make another one? Static let show web view. Oh wait, yeah. Oops. Show web view and that is okay. And the same, the identifier in this case is storyboard dot show web view. Now, what is the sender? The sender we want to pass in this publisher because later on you know that uh, if we want to pass in the publisher, we will have to implement perform a uh, prepare for segue, right? You'll get a chance to prepare for segue. So the prepare for segue in it will has a sender. And this sender will be exactly the publisher okay and that's a hint for you to the upcoming challenge this challenge i want you to write the prepare for segue method so that when you click into this view uh click into item and you can show the web view and i'll see you in a minute all right so here's our project so far if we click into a cell then we'll see the web view loaded okay and the progress bar looks good Cool. that's good all right next um but if you click into some other thing maybe this guy you see that there's something wrong over here this one it loads but i think it never loads the actual web view and we'll have a pro we have an error message over here in the console it has uh, app transport security has blocked a clear text http uh, http okay what it does is that in iOS 9, at this time the screencast, I'm using iOS 9 and Swift 2, Xcode 7, okay? What it does is that because this, the Time Magazine webpage, it is http slash colon slash slash time.com, okay? So it is not https, https is a secure um, connection. But this one is insecure and in iOS 9 it forced us to use secure connection so what i want you to do is in we can overpass this one by writing some of the uh, some code inside the info.plist okay so when you click to the info.plist you can right click to that and you can open as a source code instead of property list this is property list but you can do it as source code okay so this is xml okay this xml don't have to worry about this i will show you just three lines of these things so just scroll down right down below and over the array like that let's have enter okay first we have a key okay and that is ns app transport security and then slash key so we have a tag this is called a tag and slash key this is closing tag okay and next we have a dict dict dictionary and inside this we have the key another key for this dictionary and that is ns allows arbitrary loads arbitrary loads okay and then we have slash key again and here we have slash true so this key the arbitrary load has the value of true okay and next we will close this dictionary 
architecture knowing. Okay, so we we'll just have a key of the app transport security, which is write this one app transport security, and we'll make this arbitrary load to be true. Okay, now when you run this one, and we we'll open temps, and we can load this project. Okay. All right, and then we're good to go. We can load this one. But now, one thing I want to notice is that this guy, this guy right here, is it is not really safe and secure. So I hope that in the future we can have other ways to do this. But right now, it's just a quick and dirty way to do this, right? So in the next video, we're working on multiple sections in the collection view. We will separate all of these publishers into multiple sections. Okay, one of those may be my favorite. Some of those are politics, technology, or design, or anything. Okay, we'll separate those, categorize these cells into multiple sections. And till that time, see you in the next video. Hey guys, is the did you like this tutorial? If you did, you can do two things now to continue your journey. First. You can subscribe to my channel right here, which I hope you will, so that I can continue sending you more tutorials on a weekly basis. And second, you can join Developers Academy today, start learning iOS development, and get your first two weeks free by clicking the link on the screen right now. Look forward to seeing you in the next video. Until next time, go out there, learn new things, craft your ideas, and contribute to the world.